Ok, xin chào mọi người <cười> Và ở đây thì mình uh, chào mừng mọi người đến với Gen Việt Nam năm nay Và ở đây thì mình đang có uh, bác Kim Jong Jin là co-founder của Flipster ở đây với mình uh, Nhưng mà chắc là mình sẽ để cho bác giới thiệu về bản thân một chút So, I will just introduce you about uh, the audience over here But would love, would love to like you sharing a bit about yourself and what you are doing in the market Hi guys, uh, I'm a co-founder of Presto Labs and uh, I'm CEO of Flipster the new crypto exchange. Um, so we started uh, Presto Labs in 2014 as an algo trading firm. So initially we were trading traditional financial markets like Korea, Japan and China equities and equity index futures. And then through uh, 2017, the first crypto bubble season, we kind of deviated from the just trading TradeFi products to crypto space. Uh, so since then we're trading quite actively um, in the crypto market. And then over the last three years, uh, we made a kind of like spin-off and starting completely new crypto derivatives exchange. It's called Flipstar. Um, so now I'm running the whole team, and as a CEO, I'm here in GM Vietnam to talk to the Vietnamese community. Yeah. So uh, I can see like Flipstar leave a lot of footprint. People are talking about Flipstar, uh -huh. but like, can you say like a bit of concept of what Flipstar doing and what differentiating itself from other like products like that? Um, so our concepts are, let me summarize in two words, like it's fast and convenient. So being fast, um, we aim for, um, we deliver, um, you know, the new products and the new, new tokens products uh, as, fast, as fast as we can to the, to the users. Um, so for example, like we are one of the, uh, the most active and fast um, early stage listing crypto exchanges for the new Perps products. Um, and by being convenient, uh, we're trying to make the crypto trading uh, more intuitive and easy access to even the new crypto trading, you know, traders. Yeah. yeah. And you were mentioning about like uh, Flipstar is one of the fastest exchange to lead like new new token. Yeah. Like, how do you guys do that? Um, so um, we're trying to deliver uh, the good projects, the good investment opportunities to our users as early as possible as we can. So we're so when, when, whenever there is a new tokens that we think that interesting and then there's a potential to go up a lot and grow a lot and our team, um, we have internal due diligence team to detect those new token listings events ahead of other competitors and we're trying to prepare in advance. So that's how uh, we can list those you know, new perps uh, faster than what other competitors are doing. Cool, cool. And one more thing I want to follow up is like uh, in the past, just the fact in the past two or three years, there were a lot of incidents that happened in the market. Uh, a lot of people lost their money, uh, pretty much like from the exchange. So, from from your point of view, when you're building Flipstar, how do you like eliminate the risk for the, the, the user fund, and how do you protect user when using your product? We recently uh, finished the proof of reserve, um, so we're disclosing the uh, the custodial custodial assets, 100% uh, to to the public. Um, and we, 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 our team um, views the security as number one, and we need to build the trust from the scratch. So we're, we're trying our best to protect our user customer, customer monies. Yeah, by, by employing like, you know, cutting edge security, you know, technologies and teams. Yeah. And by building a lot of things like that, uh, I think also like for, from your point of view, like acquiring user is like one of the most vital uh, things to do right now. Like, like how are you gonna, uh, attract user because uh, there's a lot of product out there, there's a lot of exchange out there. So what makes you stand out and what do you do to attract users to come to your platform? So our team thinks that, you know, th as you said, there are many good, great CX products out there. But the one thing is they're all similar to each other and sometimes we feel it's a bit too complicated and too commercial. So like, you know, fees, yeah. multiple layers of fees and too many features. So we want to simplify the futures trading um, in a way that like, as I said, we aim two keywords, fast and convenient. Yeah, so we try to deliver um, and curate the products and investment opportunities in a fastest way. And also, we're trying to make the crypto derivatives trading easy and straightforward. Yeah, so not just zero trading fee, we also have some interesting, you know, events. Like, have you heard about position airdrops? I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, so there's a token airdrops, right? It's quite a common scheme, but we have invented a position airdrop because so, we're uh, a crypto derivatives exchange. So on the TG time, we can 
like create the random positions and we're using our own capital and deploy and distribute to the, our users. So users can indirectly experience the futures trading um, without deploying their own risk and their own capital. That is that. That's a real unfair. Real unfair. Right. So when it comes to like uh, your point of view about the market right now, so everyone is saying that we are in the bull market. So from from your point of view, you when you're looking at a lot of project, a lot of project to listing and other stuff. So what make you feel? Uh, what kind of project make you feel like more positive? We could drive millions of new users into the market, DeFi, GameFi, or like real world sales or anything. Or what do I do? To? Um, so we are recently actively participating in like token partnerships. So recently we worked with the uh, Over Protocol. Um, so we helped them, you know, you know, get getting the civil detection to, you know, so that their users can receive the airdrops. Um, so this is just one, one starting point. We're actually uh, talking to many other projects to build, a, build up the relationships and partnerships. Um, I think that's one of the key drivers in Web3. Because, you know, like, it's quite different from Web2. In Web2, you do like purpose marketing and yeah. Google and an Apple Store, but uh, it's kind of not kind of wa working. But in Web3, we're going more like a community-driven approach. Yeah. So we're we're trying to make some interesting features, like you know, position airdrops to yeah. entertain our crypto communities, and also at the same time, we're talking to many you know, crypto projects and and foundations to build the uh, partnerships. So yeah, that would be insightful. Uh, there's one thing I, I want to ask you, like maybe our final questions. Uh, what is so you doing quant trading and you are building an exchange, a platform exchange? Uh, what are your advice for the newcomer? Like there will be a lot of new people coming into crypto market. So well, this is a financial market and people really want to make money. No, that's fine. Uh, that, that, that's what the financial market make for. Uh, but what are your advice for people who newly come to the market? What are they? Uh, what what are the things that they, they, they need to know before like trading and jumping into the in the crypto market? Um, well, yeah, I was a I was a trader like I have been a trader for 15 years. Yeah. Um, so as a as a trader, uh, one key thing that to bear in mind is to have patience. Yeah, <laughs> like if you want to if you rush and want to make money quickly, then you're taking over leverages. You're investing into some you know, some bad projects, potentially like rug pulls and, you know, wrong teams. Um, so, yeah, spend some time, patience, because, you know, the lessons that I learned over the last 15 years is that there are a lot of opportunities. Yeah. So, like, especially the newcomers, they feel that, hey, I don't want to miss these opportunities. I'm so in rush to <laughs> jump on into this wave. I want to make like 10x money within two years. Well, uh, that, I mean, some lucky people can make a lot of money, but most of the cases it ends up with you know losing a lot of money. So I think as a as a trading perspective, be patient and try to avoid some you know bad information and wrong information. So yeah, I think that I also share that experience when yeah. working in the industry. So I've been in this for like more than seven years doing Cosmic and also Carol Venture and all stuff. More than seven years and yeah. I think as long as like we we patient and we keep growing with the markets, everything will be fine, right? Do not over trading, over leverage, right, and, right. and other stuff. Do remember to follow Flipster on social media and like give the feedback and stay tuned for the exciting thing gonna come like uh, in the future. All right, yeah, thank you so much for your thank time you. today. Thank you. Right, thank you.